Hey everyone, it's the founder of Developers Academy and creator of Developers Academy Bootcamp. Thank you so much for joining us in this free training series where you are going to learn how to design and prototype your iOS apps, how to create delightful animations and transitions in your app, and best of all, we are going to teach you how to create powerful social networking apps. We are going to build really two powerful, beautiful social networking apps and I prepare a little video for you to have a sense of how it looks like, how it works, how beautiful it is. So I would love to show it to you now. to go and learn this with us this or these apps are huge so let's take the time and learn this together okay to create the social networking apps we will need two pieces of software the first one is a front end a front end is the thing that you use directly on the phone and the second one is a back end the front end is the thing that you use directly on your phone like this like the interest app that we are creating in a minute okay those things, iOS frameworks, UI kits, things iOS, uh, every iOS things on the phone, the user uh, directly interacts with that is the front end. In our um, course, we are going to use Pass to as a back end service. Pass is a company purchased by Facebook and is now run by Facebook. So just by knowing that Facebook owns Pass, you know at first, it is incredibly powerful in social networking features and secondly it is free you look at the corner you see that it is signed up for free that is all i want to say in uh, the introduction for this video let's go to the main part of this video we are going to teach you how to create a prototype of the interest app using flinto flinto is free to start with and again we are not promoting for Flinto, I use Flinto personally, so I recommend you to do this. We are not their affiliate or anything, okay? Many people use Flinto, so we recommend you to use Flinto. So let's jump into the computer and I will show you how to create a prototype of the interest app. It will, go, it will give you a sense of how the app looks like, how it works, and then in the next video, we're going to teach you how to start implementing the app itself. So let's go to the computer. So let's go to Safari and then I will go to Flinto, F L I N T O dot com. And here is my Flinto um, service. And now, for now, I will log out of my account and create a totally new account. So I will type in my address. And then I will choose an. Uh, I would choose a password. All right. So here, go, then you will have a quick uh, tips about how to use Flinto. So right now we will just uh, escape that. But you see that right now 
you have a very option to make a prototype immediately and I can turn on the screen like this so over the left corner you can see that the prototypes right now is named untitled so we can go to the settings and then change the title for this maybe this one is interest prototype mk1 okay and then save changes and you see that we have two other options the first one is the app icon the second one is the startup image so for the app icon we will learn how to design the app icon later on in the future videos and also for the startup image so we have other options like the status bar style so right now maybe i would choose the white translucent the default defa default device frame style we can choose black white gold or we can have other options like when we tap on something it will show hints for the missed tabs or it will highlight some of the tabs like some buttons or some images and we also have actions delete the pro prototypes or we can duplicate the prototype so i will save the changes all right so here is the canvas or the this is canvas that all of your static screens that we designed in section one will go into this canvas. All we need to do is just drag and drop all of those screen here and we will make a prototype in Flinto. Let's make a prototype out of all of these images. So here is on the left hand side is my Flinto prototype. Right now it doesn't have any screens yet. But it says drop all the screens right here. It doesn't mean that I have to drop anything into my screen, but so on the right hand side, we have all the images that we just export in the last video, in the last video. So I will cut, I will select all of these by uh, clicking command A, and then I will drag all of these images right here, and then drop those, all right? And then it will take some time to upload those, and boom. So we have all of these screen, so let's find out and a little bit organize those screens. So the first one, we, I wanted the email prompt to, to be the first one, all right? And then I want the, let's find the password, try it to the top also. And if you want, we can zoom in, zoom out like this, very convenient. And we have the name, okay? What's next? So we want to have the home screen, let's say. After the home screen, we want to have something like the interest page. And then we want to have the comments page. Okay, it should be this one. I don't like that one. And then the, maybe the discover page. Or we can create a new one. That is how we can create a new one, right? The first, the second. And then we can compose a new post or we go, can write a comment. All right. So I will zoom in into those pages and start working on those. So the way you make prototypes in Flinto is incredibly easy. All you need to do is select this one, select a screen that you want to currently working on. And then you will drag uh, like that. And then you have a button. This is kind of like a button. Okay. And then you from this button, if the user clicks on that, then we want to transition to this button, to this screen, right? So in this back button, it doesn't matter, but in this next button, so make it a little bit bigger so that we can click anywhere we want. And then we will transition to this password screen, boom, okay? And what if you want to a custom transition, something like you, slide right slide left push right push left or slide up slide down okay or flipped and left right we have some of these options in flint out by default it will be none or kind of like dissolve but it's just like appear immediately into your screen we can choose dissolve but right now because our email and password screen it has back and next and in fact we will put it into a ui navigation controller so I want it to be something like push left, okay? So 
you see that the push left is highlighted I just clicked into the next button and click push left okay so we click next we are in the password screen and maybe we want to come back into the email screen so we want it to be push right okay and then select the back and want to push right okay and then we have two screens right so we can just click into preview right now and preview what's going on with our app so far all right so here is the email screen and i want to click next or we can go back okay very easy right there we go so next let's have this next button and i want to go here let's change this one into push left right because it is pushing left and also for this we want to push right all right and after we do all of these we click next then we will go back to we will go to our home screen and maybe for this one let's do it as cross dissolve so this is dissolve okay all right so we are at our home screen what next we want to click into the discover button to join some of some of the room right let's say and let's make it bigger and go here so for this one the discover button, the discover screen i want it a little bit like it's on the left hand side so i want it to be push right all right but in fact in our real app we will do something like it will push it just minimize it and then it will slide to the left slide to the right and then pop it back so we have really wonderful view controller transition anima uh, animator for you waiting for you to learn about how to do that okay so now we are on the discover screen let's take care of this discover screen okay so we want to cancel that and come back to our home screen so let's come back to our home screen okay or if we are in one of those card views we can click into this card views all right and then come back to our interest home page and we want that to be push left or push right i think it should be push left okay but fi let's find out how i will click to preview next 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 and this cover is push left that's right click to that then we can push right that's good so right now we want to uncheck this one click close so let's make a big one like that and we want to close it back into the home screen okay and let's do that by dissolve or actually let's pu push left or push right okay all right so how about this one we want to create that one and go back here and we still can as exit this one right so we have some other screens right down below here why don't you try out yourself and this is as a challenge for you so just try out connect some of the screens remember that if you are working on a screen right now transition to another screen take care of all the things that you can come back and that's it so i hope that you have been enjoying this tutorial try out the challenge and if you have any questions feel free to post it right down below and i will be glad to answer all of your questions all right hey everyone welcome back in this video i'm going to show you how you can run this prototype in your screen so here is my prototype so far and we can just connect to dropbox or we can add screen or we can share so i will share and then here is some options we can do this we can send to your phones and your email and this is the history maybe you want to set the password so this is very um, easy for us to do that so i will type in my phone number all right hey so this is here what would happen when i click into the link that flinto sent me so i am in safari right now and it has an arrow right here and it says just click into that 
and then we can add this to home screen okay so i can add this on to home screen let's add that to home screen and then we can rename this maybe we name it as interest oops interest okay something like that and add so we are in our home screen right now so i will click into that see so later on in your challenge maybe you want to like um have we after we design the startup screen and the app icon your challenge will be change the app icon in flinto change the startup screen in flinto so that you will have a wonderful experience when you run this app okay so this is our email and then when i click into something that is not a button flinto very nicely will show me what is where i should click on so i click next and it slide to the left click back it goes back next and next next okay so i can click into a room slide up right very nice and then i can click that or go back create a new post okay type something and then close that close this all right i hope that you have been enjoying that video tutorial and i hope that you give yeah, you have a sense of how the app works, how it looks like and as usual at Developers Gaming we have a tradition that after each video we'll give you a code challenge. In this, in this one it is not correctly 100% code challenge but your code challenge this time is to complete your prototype in Flinto. Okay, it's, you see that it's very simple, just drag and drop, just connect those images together. I already prepared the images for you. So complete your prototype in Flinto and after you do that, share with us your prototype below in the comment section below. Okay, and uh, you see on the publish tab, you can just click into there and gives us a link copy that link into the comment section tells us that here you, here you go I complete this prototype check it out and I will check every single one of yours to make a comment on that maybe okay so complete your prototype and share it with us and if you have any questions feel free to post it right down below I will be here supporting you and answer every questions and comments that you have okay and also if you see that other students have any questions feel free to answer their questions okay and be polite in this forum okay now the fourth one i want you to do is please do me a favor to share this one this video series with your friends one friend two friends your fellow developers okay i know that um it is so crit critical that we are standing right in the beginning of the future and future has a bunch of the app in the future and the future of apps is social networking. So I want to take on as many developers as possible to learn with us and build social networking apps, to build interactive, beautiful, delightful social networking apps. So I'm honored to help you here with us. Until next time, I see you in the next video. In the next video, we're going to learn how to implement the carousel home screen in the interest app and it looks like this.